Hey, what is going on guys? It's Tharsha and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a Evil Commander tier list in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. However, this is not going to be a tier list based on how good a commander is or, you know, how, you know, what tier it is or anything like that. No. Instead, I'm going to be ranking these evil commanders based on one thing and one thing only. And that is how I feel about facing them in battle. So basically, commanders that I rank high are going to be those commanders that when I see them in a battle, I'm like, oh no, I want to avoid them at all costs. I do not want to fight them. If I fight them, I'm probably going to draw or lose. And those commanders that are ranked really, really low are the commanders that I just smack. When I see those comms, if I actually do scout, which I don't ever remember to, but if I do scout and I see those comms, I'm just like, oh, send everybody in, send anyone in. We're going to smack that comm, we're going to destroy it, no problem. So that is how I'm going to be ranking the commanders in this video. I'm going to be ranking them based on how I feel about fighting them. Anyway, if you guys do enjoy this video, then please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on post notifications. Anyway, let's, anyway, get, let's get started. So first up, we have Adunai, and I... Um, I've fought her a couple times, but I mean, I don't, she's never really done that great. Like every time I fight her, I'm pretty sure I, I either, it's either a draw, you know, in my favor or I just destroy her. Though she, one or two really good, uh, well-built ones have done some good damage. So I'm going to give her a B tier for now. Oh, well, maybe she, she, A, nah, she definitely doesn't deserve A, but she doesn't deserve C either. So I think I think B is probably where I want her. Okay, anyway, let's go to Exog next. So Exog fought him a bunch of times. Never really ever have a problem with him. He's gonna go to C tier. Because I mean it's Exog and don't think I've ever, you know, run into an Exog and be like, oh god, you know? I've, every time I fight him, I'm just like, okay, it's gonna be an easy kill. Anyway, next up we have Arzu Kor and I'm probably trashing his name, but I fought him maybe once or twice, and the ones I fought were absolutely terrible. I just completely smashed them, so not gonna even bother. Now we have Boruthiel. I'm actually gonna give her a B. I know everyone says she's terrible, but I mean, I fought her a couple times, and most of the time it's either a pretty even draw. I have smacked her as well, but I have gone up against one or two that actually did pretty good against me. So I'm going to give her a B tier, even if, you know, a lot of you guys probably would give her C or D. Anyway, next up we have, oh, this dude, Black Serpent. I mean, hmm, I've only, I think I fought him mostly with him commanding Mumakill. But, I mean, um, fought him a couple times. Yeah, I'm going to give him B tier, but I'm going to put him in front of Beruthiel. I fought him with uh, Mumakil, he's done pretty good, but I've never I've never really worried about running into him, so I'm not gonna, you know, watch, start worrying now about running into him. So, depends, yeah. Next we have this guy, I forget his name, so I'm sorry, but I'm gonna just stick him in the behind, uh, behind the other guy, Agzog, so yeah, I think, what's his name? Coaster or something? I, bloody hell, I don't remember. I do apologize for that guys. I I'm not familiar with all the, you know, evil commander names just because I don't play evil and so yeah, the only commanders I'm familiar with obviously are the ones that I go up against quite often. So this now we have Grishnak next. I think that is this Grishnak? I can't actually tell. This is a uh, kind of a bad picture. It looks like Grishnak though to me, so we're gonna stick him Thing is, I don't. Though I've only fought him once or twice, and I absolutely smack him. So he's gonna go down to D tier probably. Yeah, he's going to D. But now we have the man, the myth, the legend, Gorbag. When I first started fighting Gorbags, I thought they were super easy. Like I was smacking them all the time, and then I started going up against Gorbags with their uniques, and I started losing to them with Aowen and E. They even did really good against my Gimli. Uh, even a Gorbag without the unique though still does pretty great. Like, uh, well now when I go up against a Gorbag, I'm, I have to actually be careful because they tend to do pretty good. I'm going to give him A tier to be honest. Gothmog, well I know everyone uses Gothmog as a siege comm, but when I run into a Gothmog, two things go through my mind. One, I'm absolutely going to smack him 
or two, I'm going to hit him and I'm going to be hitting a, a wall. Like, I'm going to just kill my entire army and he's going to take no losses. So, Gothmog definitely goes A tier, though he's going to go behind uh, Gorbag because Gorbag does. Uh, I've see, I, use, I see Gorbag much more in PvP and I'm much more afraid of going running into a Gorbag than into a Gothmog. Grimma, honestly, I mean, I'm putting Grimma at C tier. I know everybody uses him, okay? I know a lot of people use him and he's a great madness commander, but remember this tier list is based on how I feel about fighting these commanders and my A1 has anti-madness. Grimma does nothing. I always smack like every single Grimma I come across. My Gimli is running a stack of Guardians, so the Madness literally does like nearly nothing. So I, I don't ever have issues fighting Grimas, and he's going to go to C tier, but he's going to go to the... Actually, you know, like, let's be fair, let's be fair, let's give him B tier. I'll give him end of B tier, because he can still... Because there is one Grimma that I went up against that absolutely smacked me, but that guy didn't use any of Grimma's Madness abilities, so yeah. And that was not Grishnak, because Grishnak is right here. So, don't know who that was, but never actually fought him properly. And Grishnak is going to still go there anyway, so there's not really any difference. Now we have Keldun. Keldun is really good commander. He's going to go in front of Gorbag. Keldun is probably, yeah, I, I don't like going up against Keldun's because they're really good. Kamul, ah, uh, Kamul's like, I mean, what else, you know, don't really... Yeah, if I run into him, it's it's a whatever kind of story. It's not really anything good, anything bad. It's just, you know, it's him. Kieran is going to go to A. Because if you're fighting a Kieran playing with Rune, they can be pretty deadly. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to give him early B. Because they don't do that great now. But they when, the, when there was that uh, stuff where they were using the... I think it was the chariots with the um, the large hammer or whatever they gave attack to large units. They were doing absolute god tier, and even now when I fight them, I do find pretty good Kirins as well. So he doesn't go up there. Oh, I mean, th does he get A? I don't think he's good enough for A though. Yeah, he's not good enough for A. We're gonna leave him over there. At B. Lather, Lather is kind of a eh, so so. I'm gonna. Stick him over there. Right yeah, that there goes there. Lurts, I don't actually have any issues fighting Lurts. I'll put him there though, because if he does go up against A1 or something and, and he's on the attack, he can do pretty okay, but he's he's not really something to worry about, but he's better than these guys in C and D tier, so because of that, I will put him up a little bit. But he, I can't, I can't, uh, you know, I can't in good uh, thing, in good uh, confidence put him up any higher than where he currently is, so he's just gonna have to... Oh, maybe, I mean, nah, I can't put him ahead, can't put him ahead of Grimma, but I kinda wanna move Grimma up, actually. Yeah, I'll move Grimma up a bit. Like, I'll move Grimma over here. And I will move Lurts ahead of these guys as well. Uh, Ruthiel, she can go. Yeah, there it goes. That looks a bit better to me now. Anyway, next up we have Meltok. I, uh, I've never come across a good one. Like, uh, I, it's no issue, I'm just gonna stick him over there. But I do come across him more. Now we have Mouth of Sauron. So, Mouth of Sauron, I'm gonna give him A tier. Because I run into quite a few good ones, to be honest. Like, I'm actually, uh, but, you know, when I run up against one, I'm actually worried about whether it's equipped well or not. Even a badly equipped one has done pretty decent against me, so yeah. Now we have Kerwan. He's gonna go. He's gonna go down there. Now we have Snatch Saruman. I mean, Saruman is. Uh, uh, doesn't really do that great, but he has done decent a couple times, so he's gonna go top B tier. Sauron's gonna go to S tier, because I do not like fighting Sauron. He does absolutely great, even though I have a. Focus protection chest plate, he's still drawing with my Gimli now. Though with the focus protection, obviously Gimli is doing a lot better, but still he's pretty good to be able to 
you know, actually still draw with me, even though I have focus protection, so Sauron goes to S tier. The Shadow, he's gonna go to top C tier. Not gonna say much else about him. Shagrat, well, he's gonna go to, yeah, down to D tier. So I've actually fought him a couple times, so I'm gonna put him over there ahead of the other guys. Or should I put him? Nah, I can't put him any further back. Could I? Nah, can't. Ah, uh, now we let's actually do him first. So, or oh, actually, let's do let's do Uthak. Uthak can be a pretty decent commander, but I'm gonna stick him at the end probably. Yeah, ah, uh, Zegrid. Don't fight him much, but. I've I've done him. I that sounds wrong. I've fought him once or twice, and he's done pretty decent. He's gonna go to top C tier. Yusra, honestly, no issues fighting her. Gonna stick her around over here, I think. Yeah, I think that's I think that's all right. Um, look, look. I mean, no issues fighting him. He's gonna go. I'll put him past no name brand guy because I don't remember him. Witch King is gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna put Witch King ahead of Sauron. And I know a lot of people now say, no, Witch King is useless. You can just, you know, everyone counters him. Everyone can is built to destroy him, whatever, whatever. But let's be honest, Witch King. If you don't have a commander built for anti Witch King, that Witch King is gonna run through any other commander you send at it. If I send my A1 against that Witch King, you know, because if I don't scout first and I just send A1 in and it's a Witch King, he's going to roast her entire army. If I send Gimli, he's going to roast Gimli's entire army. If I don't send my anti Witch King Galadriel, anything else is going to get roasted, you know? So Witch King is still going to go to S tier over there. Next up we have. Should we. Yeah. Next up we have. This is the Shadow, right? Or am I mixing up my names again, guys? Anyone know? No. This is the Undying. Yeah, that's him. Undying. Um, in front of Zegrid, I think. Should oh, should I go put him further? Nah, I don't think so. And then the last two are no name brands whose names I've forgotten. So. Yeah. Where do we put them? This is isn't this Sharku? I think this is Sharku, if I'm not mistaken. So don't. Quote me on that because, you know, I'm not exactly confident in my memory in terms of evil commanders, so could be completely wrong, but I believe this is Sharku and he's going to go. I don't think I've fought him once or twice, but I mean, I've fought Yusra more and she's been a bigger pain than him. So I'm gonna put him NC tier. This guy, this is, I forget this guy's name, but I fought him and he's actually caused me some problems before. I'm gonna put him there, yeah, just just after alerts and before Berithiel. So this is gonna be my tier list for evil commanders in terms of, um, you know, how much I hate fighting them. So in S tier we have the big two, Sauron and the Witch King. I absolutely hate fighting them. If I run into a Sauron, even with someone with a Focus protection vest, he's still gonna do great. Witch King, if I run into him, he's gonna smoke anything I throw at him unless it's my Galadriel with, you know, her knights on her and her anti-witch king skill will set up. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. It is 14 minutes of me rambling on about evil commanders I don't I don't like and I like fighting as well as me forgetting their names, but I hope you guys you, you guys still enjoyed it. And if you did, please do drop a like, comment down, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.